What's up Rangers, it's Cameron J. Smith, and these are my thoughts on Power Rangers Dino Fury. <laughs> Power Rangers Dino Fury was mixed for me and at best. Sure, it expanded the lore with the Morphin Masters and explained where the powers came from, but it's had its ups and its downs. Let's talk about the character starting with Zato, the Red Ranger. Being an ancient ranger from the planet Ravcon, he was the greatest Red Ranger I've ever seen in combat. So I would put him as third best next to Jason Lee Scott and Wes Collins. Ollie was alright for the most part, but he was never annoying. He was courageous and a perfect fit for the Blue Ranger. Amelia, being an investigator for Ghosts, was actually kinda quirky, but had the brains like Tori from Ninja Storm. So I would say she would be a perfect fit as the first Pink Ranger with an intellectual pursuit of investigating. Izzy is by far my most favorite Ranger out of the entire team. She's athletic, she's confident, and she's... Plus, I would say and I quote, You and me are really vibing, dude. That basically reminds me of one of my friends, because Izzy reminds me of one of my friends out there. Javi, being a rookie rock star, had his moments, but he was pretty cool and selfless. A perfect fit for the Black Ranger spot. Kind of reminds me of myself, honestly. <laughs> Ion, however, I could not stand. Like I said in the podcast, it's okay if you like Ion, and this is just my humble opinion. Ion is the worst Six Ranger and a disgrace to all the other Six Rangers that came before him. He had one specific job and one job only, and that was to never touch the Red Nunchucks. And what does he do? He goes ahead and touches them anyway, using them and breaking them in the process. Now for the villains. Void Knight is a bit of a hulking brute, and I really dig his armor. Mucus, eh, she was okay. A bit slimy, but she had an adorable design, I give her that. So, what are my final thoughts on Dino Fury? Like I said, it was a bit of a rough start for me. Not saying it was bad. I just didn't have enough time to watch it when I was working on the series Cam Morphs. Plus, I didn't want to do a fan morph based on Dino Fury until I have seen all the episodes. But all the comments badgering me to do it on the spot got the best of me. And in the end, I was burnt out. Make no mistakes, I want to do a redux on the Dino Fury morph, but it has to wait until I am really, really ready. So please, for the love of all that is good and decent in the universe, stop badgering me to do a Dino Fury morph when I'm not ready. The thing is, I want to have fun when making morphs. Constantly badgering me to do a morph when I'm not ready to do it doesn't equal fun. It makes it a chore for me. And if it becomes a chore, I will be disinclined to work on it. And with all that out of the way, here is my final score for Dino Fury. Dino Fury is 78% alright. Meaning, it's still a good season. It has its pros and it had its cons. So, will the Rangers succeed next time? Well, we'll see when, when they go into space for Power Rangers Cosmic Fury. And until next time, ignore the bad, stay rad!